politics. My name is Toby Okechuku. I represent an area of Wojiriba Federal Constituency. I'm from Enugu State. Mr. Speaker, I appreciate this motion, but I appreciate so much the prayers because it is an opportunity for Parliament and Nigerians to look at the challenges that we face with regard to delegated uh, legislation. But more importantly, Mr. Speaker, most of the arguments have not made a distinction between the spirituality of this and then the asset owning nature of the entities that have been asked to in, uh, uh, exhibit some level of corporate governance. Mr. Speaker, mm -hmm. honorable colleagues, there are conditions precedent before a delegated authority comes into place. When a code of corporate governance is to come into place, the operating entity is supposed to have a stakeholders meeting. They are supposed to brainstorm. They are supposed to review what the mischief, the, uh, the, 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 the rule or the code is supposed to cure. In this instance, did the Financial Reporting Council, did they hold any meetings, any public hearing with regard to this, the, uh, this uh, rule or code? If they did, what were the things that were canvassed? Why did it come into place in the first place? As a matter of fact, some of the actions that are being taken now are actions being taken after the fact. Why should this code come into place? I understand that, uh, and I appreciate the fact that the president has taken some actions, and our colleagues have praised that in this, in this uh, 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 praised him for doing that. But these are matters after the fact. It ought to have taken place when the rule was canvassed, when they went for public hearing, when they ought to have gathered stakeholders to brainstorm on this court. We must also appreciate that some non-profit entities also now own universities. Their own assets, their own private jets, their own hospitals. And these are issues that come within the context of succession planning. Once we are able to separate spirituality from it, then we understand that there are issues there are organizational behavioral issues that are involved in this. That is why I subscribe to the prayers that have been canvassed by this uh, motion that we need to have a public hearing. We need to interrogate the issues and interrogate the person's concern. It's not uh, sufficient to say that actions that ought to have been taken by government to forestall or to nip in the bud this issue. And we are led to a roller coaster situation where people have to be uh, removed from office, where uh, the head of a, a major spiritual organization has to go. We should have known what this is supposed to cure and nip it in the bud. So government, as a body, must live up to speed with regard to its responsibilities not trying to uh, cure things when they have already happened. We should be proactive and we should be prompt and make sure that things don't come into place in the first place. Thank you.